hiding. No, but I am feeling very hot. Where are you going with the child? I suppose she is the orphan your dead sister left. That's right. This is Heidi. I am taking her up to Uncle Alp. I have looked after her up to now somehow, in spite of not being employed. I don't mind telling you. I am not going to turn down a good job like the one I have just been offered because of this child. It's time her grandfather looked after her. He must do his duty. Are you crazy? How can you even think of such a thing? He has had nothing to do with the village people since the time his son was killed. He has not set his foot in the village. Talks to no one. Nor does he attend the church. We all are terrified of him. He looks so fierce and wild with those bristling grey eyebrows and that dreadful long beard. He will never agree to look after this child. Never. Maybe. But he is going to look after his granddaughter now. Grandfather. Hey, what's that? Good morning, Uncle Al. I have brought you Tobias' daughter. I don't suppose you recognize her as you haven't seen her since she was a year old. Why have you brought her here? She is come to stay with you, uncle. I have done all I could for her these five years. Now 
it's your turn. My turn, is it? And what am I supposed to do when she misses you? And starts to cry and fret for you. That's your problem. If you can't have her here, do what you like with her. But I will be on your own sense. Ha! Huh. Leave! Go back! Don't come back here in a hurry. Goodbye, Hedy.